Thank you, Madam uh, President. Members, I have a, a letter before me from uh, Congress Member Sam Farr. Sam sent this to me and it says, I strongly support SJR 10. I served 13 years in the California Assembly and 23 years in Congress fighting injustice, including the Chinese crackdown in the Falun Gong. I have sponsored their demonstrations on the U.S. Capitol lawn with my California uh, co college, Congress, California Congressman Dana Robacher. I also support the U.S. Con uh, Congr Congress resolution, House Resolution 304 and House Resolution 605, which called for an end of the China's campaign of persecution and torture of the Falun Gong, as well as House Resolution 343 that expressed concerns over persistent, incredible reports of systematic, state-sanctioned organ harvesting from Falun Gong practitioners and members of other religious and ethnic minority groups in the People's Republic of China. California is a nation state and is the largest multicultural democracy in Earth. The California legislature must express its sense of state by the way, by way of enacting resol uh, joint resolutions and other legislative tools. Your SJR 10 is a responsible measure which deserves the vote of all members to send a message to those who oppose and do harm to the Falun Gong. He's not a Republican. He's a Democrat. He's one of yours. His constituents serve on this floor. And yet, you don't even have the backbone to allow it to come to this floor to actually have a debate and say what you have a problem with. Now, are you so petty that this is about me? If it was a different author, you'd let it come to the floor? Is that how petty you are? In the last week of the legislature, this is all about pettiness when we're talking about a serious issue, torture victims, Holocaust. We're talking about all these issues that we say are dear to us, that you say are dear to you, and yet the world can see, the world can judge you for your lack of, by your lack of action. How can you possibly go home next week and feel proud of yourself that you allowed this opportunity to stand up against a Holocaust, to stand up for a beaten down people, to stand up for those who are medical experiments? How can you, against their will, how can you sit there and just let it go and table it again as if it's just any other resolution? You know, this isn't a bill about whether sidewalks with cracks get replaced. This is a resolution that tells the world who we are, what California values are. You keep talking about California values, but if they didn't vote for you, if they're not here to help you with your reelect, then where's your value? These are poor people. They have nobody in the world to stand for them. Nobody. And when they come to, to California to start a new life, we turn our back on them. How dare us? How dare us? More importantly, this is a shining example of why supermajorities fail time and time again. Because you won't even let it be heard on this floor. When given the opportunity, and by the way, I'm going to give you ample more opportunities, because I want you completely saddled, knowing that you're the reason why we turned a blind eye to genocide. I, I've never not voted for one of your resolutions on, on human rights. I've never not voted. And I can't believe that you even allow it to come to this floor to be heard. Y'all should be sitting up straight. Take pride in the work that you're doing, or the lack of work. Take pride in being closet Holocaust deniers. Take pride in all that, because you should be proud of the work that you do on this floor. I'm very proud of the work I do. And I just don't understand it, because I know all of you on a personal basis. We broke bed, bread together. We've laughed. We've talked about the world's concerns. And yeah, there are differences that we have. There's differences from community to community. But there was always one issue 
humanity that pulled us together. And where are you on that today? If, if I'm the problem, and this is a way of getting even with me, don't hold them accountable. Don't hold it against them. I'm happy to allow somebody else to take over authorship of this. I think that this issue is crucial that we have it heard on this floor. Members, you're better than this. I'm counting on you to be the best you can be, as every Californian. But most important, all those victims that are sitting above us, looking down on us, they're counting on you, too, to stand up for them.